Hey, what's going on? It's Battle Means by Mari back at you with another video. So, I've been hearing a lot about the new Dragon Ball Super manga, so I figured I'd give it a look. And shouts out to Dan Hudson for uh, sending me the link to read that manga. Uh, it's 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 kind of uh, I mean, okay. N let me just first start off with this. What they're doing with Vegeta, it's not bad. It's not bad what they're doing with Vegeta, but I feel like it's just a bit too late to give Vegeta this kind of character. He's still trailing behind Goku. I mean, don't whether you want to believe it or not, don't be in denial. He's still trailing behind Goku. He still wants to surpass him. And that it backtracks his character development at the end of the Boo Saga. Now, had this happened before the Boo Saga, then I would be all for it. It would be dope. Like, yeah, it be it would be well placed. But, like, you know, in them seven years that Goku was dead, this would that would have been the perfect time for Vegeta to have been doing this. But, yeah, it's just it's not placed well. And on a side note, I love the fact that they backtracked to uh, not really backtrack, but showed another being from one of my favorite villains, Zarbon. If y'all saw my top five favorite Dragon Ball villains you would know Zarbon is in that top five and I'm glad that they did that that was pretty cool but yeah I, I um it's it's awesome that he's training like that but it's just not well placed I think that it's it gets rid of his character development him basically submitting to Goku Goku being the best you know him saying me and Kakarot are cut from a different cloth you know he's not as good as he's basically saying Goku's not as good as me we're, we're cut from a different cloth like bro what what did you see at the end of the boo art he's better than you like stop it I understand that they want to continue super and keep it moving and give Vegeta shine but it's just placed at the wrong point in Dragon Ball also the whole angel thing where if they fight at full potential they cease to exist that that doesn't make that's stupid I'm sorry it's dumb that doesn't it doesn't even make sense <laughs> like what they cease to exist if they fight seriously uh, yeah I don't I get it they want to put a handicap on the, the angels but that doesn't really make they could have done it in a better way it, there's much better ways they could have wrote that and the fact that Goku was trained by Wiz he should have at least gave Miris some go. Miris isn't even a top fledged uh, angel, and Goku was trained by a top fledged angel. So, you know, it, it just that that part didn't sit well with me. And it's like, damn, how many more masters is Goku gonna have? I and mean, he's not improving at all. Now Miris is, you know, the one training him, and it's like, <laughs> for what? The dude isn't getting any stronger, and he isn't getting any better. <laughs> He's still falling for the same stuff he's fallen for at the beginning of Super. So why even continue to train this Goku? He's terrible. Stop wasting your time. Anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, the it's not bad what they're doing with Vegeta, which was basically the main focus of this manga chapter. But I just feel like it's a regression and wasn't a progression. Because I understand they have to keep super moving forward to keep the story moving. And this was basically the only way for them to do it. Was to give Vegeta that shine. But I still think GT Vegeta was better. Character wise. I mean he was a more progressed Vegeta. The whole designing him with a mustache and his hair cut. Just showed how he was more human. More civil. You know in, in, in GT all that time had passed and you could use the argument that super is only like what two years after boo but it still regressed him even on the last uh the last episode at the last tournament in z you can see vegeta was different he wasn't that that same kakarato vegeta that he was in the android saga and the cell saga he, he's different and super just went backwards and he did I mean, it just is what it is. In GT, Vegeta's more of a friend than he is a rival. And Super wanted to keep him a rival. Because that's the only thing that would motivate Vegeta to keep training and to get stronger. Is to rival Goku. 
So let me know which Vegeta y'all favor. The more backwards in personality Vegeta that wants to rival Goku all over again, or the more character developed Vegeta that is more Goku's friend than his rival. You know, uh, let me know what y'all think about that. Which Vegeta you would prefer. And once again, I love the fact that they, you know, <laughs> took it back to my boy Zarbon. You know, it, I like that we see more uh, characters from a race. You know, it shows that Zarbon isn't the only one from that race in the universe. And they're doing something similar in the new Kakarot game where you see someone from Jace's uh his race in the game as some female or something like that that's a new character and she looks like Jay so it's obvious that she's one of his race members so let me know what y'all think of the new manga and I'll see you on the next video